Hello, my name is Mike Moe, and I'm the Director of Tourism Development and Strategic Partnership for the Washington Tourism Alliance. Welcome to the State of Washington's Destination Module for Olympia and Beyond. Our presentation today will be given by Jeff Bowe, the Senior Director of Tourism Development for Experience the Olympia and Beyond. Welcome, Jeff. Tell us about your beautiful region. Thank you, Mike. You might already know Olympia as the state capital for Washington State. If you remembered that from the eighth grade, congratulations. Let's start our tour at the Capitol building on the Capitol campus pictured here. On top of this building is the fifth largest freestanding masonry dome in the world, certainly worth a visit. Docents at the Capitol building offer free tours every day. If you get on one of these tours, you'll learn that the Capitol building also houses the world's largest commissioned collection of Tiffany bronze as a part of the sconces and chandeliers hanging there. Capitol campus is home to a variety of historical monuments and a tree whose seeds orbited the moon on Apollo 14. But Olympia is most famous for its water. This is a shot taken from our waterfront at Percival Landing looking back at the Capitol building. The boardwalk offers easy access to local art galleries and restaurants, including the renowned Olympia Oyster House. Here's where Olympia is in relation to other cities you may be familiar with, Seattle and Portland, plus a few other landmarks. We're about an hour south of Seattle and about two hours north of Portland, an easy drive up or down Interstate 5. You'll also note our proximity to Washington's coast, about an hour to the west, and to two national parks, Mount Rainier and Olympic National Park. We're also closer to Mount St. Helens than you think, about a two hour drive to the southeast. We talked a bit earlier about the water. Here's perhaps the most famous Olympia water of all, that which made Olympia beer. A quick history lesson, Olympia beer was founded by Leopold Schmidt, a German immigrant who came to Olympia to learn about the architecture of the Capitol building. In Olympia, he discovered water from the artesian wells and had it tested to see if it was pure enough to use to brew beer, a lifelong passion of his. Turns out it was, so he started the Capital Brewing Company, which later became the Olympia Brewing Company, making popular the iconic ad campaign, It's the Water. Now you know where that slogan came from. Here's a shot of Schmidt's iconic brew house visible from Interstate 5. You see the tower there designed to take advantage of gravity brewing where the grains and liquids were elevated to the top and flowed down through the building during each stage of production. Today, all that remains of the brew house is the bones you see here, but the city of Tumwater is looking to restore this historic landmark. Olympia is well known for its passionate entrepreneurs like Leopold Schmidt, and all are eager to show their stuff and create memorable visitor experiences. Here's brewer Nathan Riley of Three Magnets Brewing in downtown Olympia. Here's John Burden serving up some of his liquid courage at the Sandstone Distillery in Tonino. This distillery is touted as the first to open in Thurston County since the prohibition. John's distilling equipment is all fabricated by hand and his spirits are crafted using only locally sourced grains. There's not an organic material that John hasn't tried to distill. Donuts, bacon, licorice, you name it. John is a gregarious ambassador of the Tonino area, and his shop contains many old artifacts from the days of Tonino sandstone quarrying. Here's Josh Stottlemeyer in his tasting room at Stottle Winery in Lacey. Josh produces award-winning wines and gives a top-notch tour of the facility to anyone that will listen. If you want to know about the chemistry of winemaking, talk with Josh. Other makers in the Olympia region include coffee roasters. Headquartered in Olympia, the Olympia Coffee Roasting Company carefully cultivates organic beans from around the world, choosing only those with the most distinct flavors. One way that local coffee roasters involve the community in this process is by offering what are called coffee cuppings, similar to wine tastings actually, but with coffee. The Olympia region is also home to numerous shellfish farms. The history of shellfish harvesting in South Puget Sound goes all the way back to the Squaxin Island tribe who were noted for their prowess with both the harvesting and preparation of it. Chelsea Farms grows their shellfish locally and serves them fresh daily in their restaurant in downtown Olympia. So let's take a closer look at the Olympia region on a map. The county's smaller communities are easily accessible while traveling on the Thurston Bountiful Byway, seen here on the blue line. 
This is a 60 mile loop tour around the county offering a variety of agricultural, recreational and historical experiences. The Thurston Bountiful Byway offers a multitude of opportunities to meet with local entrepreneurs. I wanna introduce you to a few of them here. Here's a shot of Thane Bryanton talking about his lavender at the Evergreen Valley Lavender Farm. He'll teach you how to make a sachet if you give him some notice. Make sure to visit Mark Sand at Ashley Creek Farm. He's best known for his ample selection of pumpkins in the fall, but he's got a wide variety of fresh cut flowers available seasonally as well. Stone City Farm is another accessible farm. Their focus is soap from goat milk and you can take soap making classes or do goat yoga here. So far, I hope you've noticed that no two farms are alike in the Olympia region. For the corn maze experience of a lifetime, visit Rutledge Farms. This is a place for the family to enjoy on a fall day, but on a crisp October night, the maze turns into a veritable horror movie. You've got to really be ready for it. Here's a shot of Hunter Family Farms in Olympia. Their primary season is fall and winter. You'll find everything from pumpkins to you cut Christmas trees here. Oh, and uh, free hot chocolate too. And then there's Shilter Family Farm in Lacey. This seasonal farm offers a corn maze, pumpkins, and you cut Christmas trees. Shilter also hosts a sunflower festival in August. There's some notable photo ops here too, as you can see. The Thurston Bountiful Byway includes farmer's markets, so if you don't go to a farm, you can still have easy access to farm products. Many of our communities have these, including Yelm and Tonino. Here's the Olympia Farmer's Market, which by the way is touted as the second largest vendor-owned farmer's market in Washington State. Let's not stop here. The Thurston Bountiful Byway is chock full of recreational opportunities. The Billy Frank Jr. Nisqually National Wildlife Refuge offers miles of hikes through an old homestead and offers opportunities to view numerous federally protected bird and fish species along the way. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the bike trails. There's more than 20 miles of them between the Yelm Tonino Trail and the Chehalis Western Trail, which by the way, happens to be a repurposed railroad previously owned by forestry giant Weyerhaeuser. We talked a bit earlier about Leopold Schmidt and Olympia Beer. Turns out the Olympia Brewing Company gave back to the community in many ways, one of which was by donating the land for Brewery Park at Tumwater Falls, the site of the now defunct brewery. This is an easy hike along the Deschutes River and is the best spot to view salmon spawning in the fall. If you haven't figured it out yet, the Olympia region is rich with history, starting with water and moving into logging and railroads. The city of Tonino is world famous for its sandstone, having been the construction material of choice for foundations and buildings before concrete. The Tonino Depot Museum captures this history beautifully. Maybe even more interesting is the idea that during the Great Depression, the Tonino Chamber of Commerce printed its own script out of wood to make up for the shortage of money. The chamber revived this practice in 2021 to help local businesses. In fact, you can buy a $21 wooden script for $20 and it's as good as cash at most businesses in town for a limited time. Other museums of note are the Hands-On Children's Museum shown here and the Olympic Flight Museum. One of the largest in the state, the Hands-On Children's Museum offers eight themed galleries with dozens of hands-on exhibits highlighting science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Here's a map of the Olympia region one more time. Hopefully by now you've realized that there's lots to see and do in our region and many reasons to extend the stay beyond just one day. You can very easily spend several days exploring the area and to do that, you'll need a place to stay. Options are plentiful with more than 2,400 hotel rooms throughout the county with all major brands and even a boutique hotel ready to serve you. Of course, cleanliness, masking and social distancing protocols are in place for your safety and comfort. Our hotels are ready when you are. Thank you for your attention. Again, my name is Jeff Bowe and I look forward to seeing you in Thurston County. Thank you all for joining us today. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me or Jeff and be sure to check out all the destination modules on the Washington State Travel Trade channel. Thanks for watching.